In this video we will be taking a look at the hidden administrator account in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I'm not sure if you know but by default Windows comes with a hidden administrator account. So this account isn't active however we can activate it and then it gives us all the administrator privileges just like any other administrator account on your computer. So we can activate this account like I just said. We can also rename the account and change the password for the account which is exactly what I will be showing you how to do in this video. So the first thing that I want to show you is within control panel that the user account is hidden and we can't actually see it. And we can do this by opening up the start menu and then typing in control panel. You then need to open up control panel and once open, if you then click on user accounts and then click on manage another account, you can see all the user profiles that are on your computer. And as you can see, there is not an administrator account. So the next thing that we want to do is open up command prompt. And we could do this by opening up the start menu and then typing in CMD. You then need to click on run as administrator. You do need to be signed in as an administrator to be able to activate the hidden administrator account in Windows 10 and 11. So the next thing that we want to do is type in net user. I'm just going to move over control panel so we can have both windows kind of side by side. So if I now type in net user and then press enter on my keyboard, you will see all the user profiles that are on your computer, including the hidden ones. So you can see there we've got administrator and also guest, which are two accounts that are hidden. So the next thing that we want to do is activate the administrator account so we can actually use this user profile on our computer. And to do this, all we need to do is type in net user again, and you then need to go space, and you now need to type in administrator. We then need to do a space again, and you then need to type in forward slash active. We then need to do colon yes. And basically this is going to tell command prompt to activate the administrator user. So if I was to replace the administrator username there with something else, then it would also activate that account. So I'm now going to do colon and then yes, and then press enter. So as you can see, the command was successful, which means if I now go back to control panel, and if I then click on user accounts, if I then click on manage another account again, you can now see that the administrator user is there, which means if I was to sign out of my Windows user profile right now, I would then be able to sign into the administrator account. In fact, I'm actually going to show you this now, I'm going to sign into the other user profile. Okay, so I have just signed into the administrator user and if I open up the start menu, you can see it says administrator there. So I didn't need to use a password at all to be able to sign into the administrator account. So to be able to apply a password, we need to go back to command prompt. I'm going to switch back to my profile now. So there are two ways that we can apply a password to the administrator account. We can use command prompt, which is what I'm going to show you in this video, or you can use control panel and then select the administrator account and then click on create a password. So to do this in command prompt, all you need to do is type in net user and then space and administrator. I will put some links in the description below to some guides that I will be doing on these commands. So if you do want to get the command from our website, then check out the links below. We then need to do space again, and you now need to type in the password that you would like to apply to the account. So if I type in test, and then press enter, that will now be the password that's set for the administrator user. If you are unsure what you want the password to be, as you can't currently think of one, then we can always do the same again, net user, administrator, but this time we need to do forward slash, and you then need to type random and then press enter, and this is going to apply a random password to the administrator account. And as you can see here, this is going to be YFI 1FI RDMG. So now that we have activated the administrator account and also changed the password, the next thing that I want to show you how to do is also change the account name. So we can change this from administrator to something else. It can be whatever you want. And we can do this easily by typing in the following. You need to type WMIC and then space. We then need to type in user account and then where name. 
We then need to do equals. You now need to do an apostrophe and then type in administrator. And we then need to do an apostrophe again and then space. And you now need to type in rename, space, and then an apostrophe and then give it a new name. So I'm just going to call this CS admin and then do an apostrophe again. You can now press enter. As you can see, it was successful, which means the account name has been changed. So if I now go back to control panel and then click on manage accounts, if I then go back one more to user accounts and then click on manage account, there we go. You can now see that it's got a CS admin. So that was originally the hidden administrator account, which has now been renamed to CS admin. If you're wondering if you can use this command to change other user account names on your Windows computer, the answer to that is yes, you can. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. The only other thing that I want to show you is how to deactivate the administrator account. So we can do this easily by doing the original command, which was net user, and then it was activate yes, but we need to change this to no. If you then press enter, which that's not actually going to work now because I changed the name, which means I need to change this to CS admin and then press enter. You can now see the command was successful. If I then go back to user accounts and then click on manage another account, you can see that the CS admin is now gone. If you do decide later on that you want to change the username back to the administrator name, then you can also do that by using the command that I showed you earlier on in the video. So that's how you can activate the hidden administrator account that comes with Windows 10 and 11. Not a lot of users actually know about this account, so being able to activate it and then change the username gives your computer that extra security. Also by adding a password onto the user as well, obviously makes your computer even more secure. Although if somebody did get onto your computer, they would have to be able to activate that administrator account like I showed you in the video to gain access through the administrator user. But as long as you keep your computer up to date and have the latest updates installed for your security software, that will help reduce the risk of that happening. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. And like I said earlier on in the video, I will pop some links in the description below to our website where I will list the commands that you've seen in this video. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.